vision. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 2. It says, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets, so that a herald may run with it. And we read earlier that in verse 3, that the vision will surely come to pass. God gives us a vision larger than ourselves. God has a vision for individuals, which is true, but God also has a vision for a community, for a state, a nation. Um, God has a vision for a larger group of people. God has a vision even for generations. And how do we work together with, with different groups of people? How do we all collaborate to fulfill the vision of God? We've, we've got to share this common vision that God has put on our hearts. And for this to happen, as verse 2 of Habakkuk 2 tells us, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. Meaning, we've got to have a clear vision and wherever possible, write it down. Write it down uh, in, in a way that it is easy for someone who's got to work with you uh, to understand it. And when everybody can understand the vision, it becomes easier to work together. It becomes easier for people to run together. So uh, for especially leadership, uh, it's critical that we receive the vision, but we also communicate the vision, that we also cast the vision in such a way that the vision becomes a shared dream uh, in the team. That it's not just one person's vision, but everybody who's involved in it is excited about what God uh, wants us to do. Everyone is excited about what is coming up and everyone is energized knowing that this is what we are going to achieve together as a team and a community. The vision has to be communicated in terms of value and mission. Uh, this is the most exciting part. When we communicate the vision uh, and, and tell people that the contribution that our work is going to make is this and this is the manner in which this uh, whatever we are doing is going to impact the lives of the people. This is the manner in which people are going to be blessed. So value and mission impresses the hearts of the team members more than just asking people to produce results and numbers. So communicate the vision in terms of the value that it's going to bring in people's lives. Uh, communicate that more than, than the numbers that people have to achieve and, and, and the outcome, the other outcome that the team has to bring. The next thing about casting a vision is that many a time a vision is caught and not taught. Uh, what do we mean by this? Uh, we mean that when some, when God gives a person a vision, the way they carry the vision, the way they live out that vision, uh, uh, it makes an impression on those who are working with them towards the same common goal. If that person is excited about the vision, uh, the others catch it. If that person is dedicated towards the vision, the others catch it. If that person has standards that honor the team while, while moving towards the vision, the others catch it. So many things about a vision are really caught and not so much taught. So uh, we've got to communicate the vision that God gives us and communicate it in such an exciting way uh, that everybody that God calls together uh, is, is working with joy, knowing that whatever it is that we are doing together is going to bless the kingdom of God. It's going to produce great things for the glory of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for the dreams that you put in our hearts and especially, God, in teams. As we work in teams, God, we thank you, Lord, for the purpose that you've given us. And I, I pray, God, that, that, Lord, the entire team Will, will be strengthened in you, God, that every single person will be excited. Thank you once again, God, for every breakthrough and every miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.